Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Yes, we're a duo again today. This is not a normal thing, but uh, she's uh, she there. Yeah. My mother used to say, who's she? Cat's the cat's mother. mother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell them what you've been doing the, yesterday. Oh, so I have smoked for over 20 years. So I, I know. And so I did a stop smoking course yesterday, uh, which is called, it's a, Alan Carr's, not the comedian, easy way to stop smoking. So it's oh. hours and hours and hours mm. of sort of turning everything you think of smoking on its head. Yeah. Uh, and saying, you know, how ridiculous have I been? And, you know, it's... Was you all mean, day? It was all day. Finished and You get a fag four. break. You get loads of fag breaks. So they encourage you to smoke throughout it and then say, what exactly are you getting from this? Well, it's like going to Alcoholics Anonymous and someone getting a bottle Just of scotch out and saying, let's, let's have a couple of shots. But the thing is, we smoke it's going to work for it, you. It gives, it gives you nothing, does it? Alcohol, mm. you know, you get a buzz from it, or you yeah. get, a, you know, oh, a, a bit of a high. Smoking mm. does nothing, does it? You hate smoke. You hate me smoking, don't you? You've hated me smoking. I don't like being around smokers because they smell, don't they? It's as simple as that. They smell like of, of smoke, don't they? And smoke on a person is different. You know, I stopped. Yeah. I found it. I went to an acupuncturist. Oh, is that how you stop? Yeah, they got great big needles and stuck them in my fags. <laughs> so that was the uh, the end of that. Well, we've got a couple of uh, people we like uh, in the news today. Mm. First of all, Kevin Spacey. Uh, I loved Kevin Spacey when he when he played that thing. He used to tap his ring, didn't he? Like yeah, this. I know. What you, was that program? I, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, West Wing. W no, um, no. The no, thing, House of Cards. House of Cards. I thought he was brilliant. Well, that's the way it is, and look at these people. She actually hates me. Mm. I, I believe he's, he's got a, a sexual assault case or something like that coming up. Uh, but he's been given a gong in Italy, it seems. The people in Italy have not really uh, got to grips with the cancel culture now. They didn't seem to matter. He came first in something or other. I think Rolf Harris comes second, I'm not sure. But uh, <laughs> talking of the cancel culture, our friend... Jeremy, Jeremy Clarkson. Clarkson. What's happened? Well, he's apologised to... Mm. Well, and, and, uh, and What did he say? He wanted a... He, he, what, in his article? Yeah. He said he hated Meghan Markle and then mm. did some Game of Thrones restaurant... Uh, restaurant? Reference about her being sort of lobbed with... Walking around, walk around naked, naked with shit thrown out. And it, it, I wouldn't ever suggest it was his greatest piece of work, and I, but, and I think he would accept that himself. But it was a quote from a TV it show. Was, it, it was his a attempt at being funny. Of, it was his attempt at being funny. Like I said, I don't think it was a particularly good column. I think he would accept that himself. But should he be cancelled from life? No. Well, well if you um, read the small print, you know, it says that uh, Netflix... Amazon. Uh, Amazon are going to uh, cancel... Uh, all of the... When the contract is up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so this is the second thing of the farm coming up now, isn't it? And then there's another there's one. There's going to be 24. another one. Which yeah, making them millions and... It's 280 million quid, I think, to make one of those uh, series. And most of that goes to Caleb. And it is a, br <laughs> it is a brilliant show. And I think Jeremy brilliant. Clarkson is just brilliant. I, I, you yeah. know, I think and, he's fantastic. And then he's got the grand tour to do. Exactly, right? But... It shows as well, like these apologies. He's apologised to Meghan and Harry. He's apologised for what for well, what he's he had done. to, didn't he? Will... You, you know, you better apologise. You know, I went on. I, I went on with that Ashley Banjo geezer mm. because some of go on there. It will be great. You can apologise. I didn't want to apologise to him, but then I stormed off, and made it worse. Yeah, you made. Yeah, that weren't the great. And now he's on great. Dancing on the Ice. Have you seen him? He's a judge. I like to see him up there on a pair of skates. He'll be on his. He'll be kneeling then. Don't worry, because he falls over. But. The apology is not enough, so they've not. come back and they've said, "Oh, actually, we don't. We, we take your apology." Who said that? Meghan and Harry's spokespeople now have said, "Well, we think you know this is a series of things that you've said that are nasty and etc. etc. It wasn't just a one-off. It's never enough. You can never feed these these people enough because they will want more. You know, you you turn around and say." I did that wrong. They will want. They still want your blood. I'll never apologise. It will never be enough. They, they can't wait. They wanted him yeah, cancelled. But, but I'm, a, I'm a comedian. I mean, it, it, uh, Prince Harry would expect me to say something. And I don't say a lot about mm. Prince Harry or Meghan. It's none of my business, really. I just think... I, wouldn't, I didn't watch the thing I said to my uh, ex-wife-to-be. I said, I said, I'm not going to watch this. She said, why? You know, uh, Harry doing the interview? Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, I'm not going to watch this in case he says something about a man that I love. And I didn't want... Oh, hello. hello. I know, you, 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 you said you didn't want to. I can't wait to get on the cat. This is Debbie. We only ever see the... <laughs> Don't normally see her, Ed. <laughs> I think the editor concentrates on one or two of these oh. other attributes here. <laughs> well, so, so, so look at this Clarkson. 
Should he be should he be sacked for what he said? He's written this grovelling apology saying I shouldn't say it, but he did say it. Not only did he say it, he didn't say it, he wrote it down. I mean, that's the worst thing. But, but he's not a comedian, and some people that are not comedians no, incredible... think they, they can be funny. And he incredible... can't he can't say that either. It was only a joke. Well, oh, man used to say that. No, I'm not a racist, it's only a joke. Have you ever read Jeremy Clarkson's columns? They're fantastic and they're incredibly intelligently articulate. And yeah, but do uh, you read them in his voice or yours? Well, I read them in Jeremy Clarkson's voice. Yeah, cool. um, but I do, and, and I, I think he's fantastic. Like I say, I don't think that was his greatest piece of work. But I, in fact, you, I, you could go as far as to say, I really didn't like it. I didn't like it. Um, but but he should lose his livelihood? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I, I and I would reserve the right to say that. You know what my feeling is about sort of freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. And that's across the board. I would protect every anybody from any political I might not agree with you, but I'd fight to the death to protect what you say. Absolutely. Mm. So Absolutely. shut up. <laughs> right, let's go over to you, Stream, now. See the devil of comedy, Freddie Starr, on stage, live at his unpredictable, unruly and hilarious best, only on Ustream. Temporarily released from the leashes that kept him almost a family entertainer on TV. You think you're going out, do you? The comedy legend performs this outrageous and blue set live from the Blackpool Pleasure Beach Arena. Freddy Star live and devilish streaming exclusively on Ustream 